virus. Since February, deaths from dementia across America are ticking upward, 35,000 more than expected when compared to previous years. We're seeing family members are talking about the decline that's happening, and we, we also know that there's been an increased deaths, not necessarily related to COVID, but perhaps related to the social isolation. The Alzheimer's Association urging state and federal lawmakers to provide rapid COVID-19 testing for staff, mm -hmm. residents, and visitors. Now, we've been able to figure mm -hmm. this out in the NBA, in college football, hockey, you name it. There is a way to figure this out, but we've left the most vulnerable Vers citizens blanc. without without access to that level of testing. And it, it is really inexcusable. If we had a testing plan, if we had that set up and, we, and the federal and state governments could support those resources, it wouldn't have to be like this. And we're, we're eight months in and we still don't have a plan. Are you cold? Are you okay? Hmm? Denise? It's a double-edged sword in that the caregivers can't touch them because I want them to touch her. I want them, her to have that interaction. Yet, it's frustrating that I can't. The caregivers can go home hug their spouses, hug their kids, hug their kids who have been in school somewhere else all day, increasing the risk of catching the virus, and then come back the next day and hug Denise, hold her hand, feed her. And here I am basically quarantining myself in my house, and, and I can't my not even with COVID testing, not even with gloves on. Nope. I have to stay six feet away from her. I could have a stack of a thousand negative test results, <laughs> uh, wear a mask, and walk in there, and, and I still cannot get closer than six feet to Denise. Are there any exceptions to that rule? There are what are called compassionate care exceptions or end of life exceptions if, if she is near or anyone in the facility is nearing end of life and we we know it's there and and you've met the regulations you can go in and and hold their hand and be there with them at the end now as he once did in his 40s when he met denise he's clinging on to one last chance this time the chance to hold his wife before it's too late it would be so tough to look back and say the only time in the last few months that I got to touch her hand was, was when she passed away. But that's a very real possibility right now, unless we change something. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta. Another heartbreaking aspect to all the COVID fallout. Our thanks to Elwin for that story. And still ahead here on Prime, Black Friday deals that you need to know about. And when they go online, Alabama coach Nick Saban tests positive for coronavirus. And a big NFL game delayed due to the virus. And what's on your Thanksgiving menu? We take a look by the numbers. But first, our tweet of the day, that owl that was found deep in one of the world's most famous Christmas trees has been freed. This is what the lie is all about. This is ABC News. 24-7 streaming news source, ABC News. Breaking news. Live events as they have been streaming live. Now stop straight to you. Original, on the edge, breakthrough storytelling. ABC News, National Geographic, ESPN, all designed differently for you to stream. To any screen whenever you want, free. And imagine the most celebrated, epic live events and moments all playing out right before your eyes. See those flights behind me? And go deeper inside the groundbreaking exclusives from the campaign.